Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Empire Earth. I'm the Mysterious JG, and we're about to start the Greek campaign. I haven't wholly decided on how I'm going to structure these videos. Usually my videos are about 30 minutes each, and for the tutorial campaigns, some of them went a little longer. But I just kind of did one tutorial uh, scenario per video. So I guess we'll see how long these scenarios take. But I do tend to be somebody who really takes my time with these. So it might be uh, that if we... You might be just, I just need to do 30 minute videos and have more than one video per scenario. But at any rate, the civilizations of ancient Greece, the civilization of ancient Greece is actually an assortment of peoples and cultures. Collectively, they established the Greek democrat, democratic, artistic, and philosophical legacy that still influence nations today. Seize the reigns of ancient Greece, established mastery over the Mediterranean, and forged the foundation of all Western civilizations to come. Scenario 1, the early Helladic peoples. Same narrator, I wonder. A cold wind blew off the Anatolian mountains. Oh, it's a different narrator. In the foothills below, the young tribal chief, Heracles, looked over the remaining members of his fading village. Despite their courage, they appeared ragged, tired. He knew they would not last through another bitter winter if they remained here. But where was there to go? Hmm. Thank the gods. The village shaman Calchas had the answer. It was why he had gathered his people here today. In a recent dream, Calchas had envisioned a way to traverse the Western Sea. He believed the Anatolian people could cross the water Anatolia, to land Anatolia, perhaps. Thessaly, Anatolia and there twice. They would prosper. Now it was time for Calchas to share his wisdom. The legendary <clears throat> story of the Greek peoples begins here. Okay, so I think some of my specific memories of, like... I guess it was the beginning of the Greek campaign. I remembered... Uh, Excuse me, like, um, pardon me, sorry. I remember guy, like guys with, like, you know, shamanistic masks, uh, uh, masks and building a boat and getting into the story. And I think, yeah, it might have been this campaign that I'm remembering. But either way, our objectives are to follow the advice of Heracles and Calchas, successfully emigrate from Anatolia to Thessaly. And those two heroes must survive. The Balkan Peninsula was inhabited by humankind as early as 60 or 70,000 years BC. The first Paleolithic peoples, however, were pushed aside by aggressive migrants from other parts of Europe and Asia. It was these later arrivals who would come to be known as the Greeks. The first important wave of early Helladic people probably journeyed through Anatolia, which is in modern-day Turkey. They settled in Thessaly, Boeilala, and Argos. But they were not permitted to do so unmolested. Yeah. Considerable archaeological evidence suggests that they were attacked over and over by marauding invaders from the Danube region, Danube region, excuse me, who probably introduced horses to the area. Ironically, thanks to these raiders from the north, the Thessalonians eventually became masters of the horse themselves. For centuries thereafter, Greeks looked to Thessaly to provide them with mounted fighting men. For protection in the short term, the early Helladic people in Thessaly built the first fortified hilltop towns in Greece. Possibly they had learned the technique from doing this in Asia Minor, where settlements in Troas, the future site of Troy, had already experimented with the building of fortifications. All Greek cities eventually adopted a custom of building fortifications situated on a walled-in hilltop. This high city, or Acropolis as it came to be called, is one of the hallmarks of ancient Greek civilization. The Acropolis of Athens, crowned by the glorious Parthenon, has endured since the 5th century BC as a quintessential example of this custom. And we get to see my... Uh, <coughs> Windows Explorer again. Yay! Hoppity hop, skippity skip. Yeah, he looks Greek, that guy with the mask there. My hey. people, I have gathered you here to listen to the words of Calchas. So please stop jumping. Priest. He has seen, in a vision, a way to lead us to a land where we may prosper. Meanwhile, I have a fixed grid. My grin. people, Yay. we must travel west to Yay. a hostile village called Troas. From them, Yay. we shall steal the secret of traveling upon the deep waters. Yay. Lead me to their dock, and I will steal it for our own use. The time for emigration has come, for we will surely perish if we sure. remain here. Meanwhile, the, the Trumpian tribe is building a wall to keep us out, so we need to hurry up with our emigration. All right. My lord. Let's uh These are uh 
goats, okay. Makoto, ugly goat. I don't know at this point that we need to uh, build too much, but what do we have access to building? A barracks is probably going to be necessary. Um, let's get a barracks. That's a house. Let's get a barracks going. Yeah, get out of there, Hercules. Come on. Uh, you guys can help with building that. We'll definitely need to uh, have food and, to a lesser extent, wood. Is it worth building a settlement really close to the wood? Or should we just be... These spots are uh, any good, I guess. Maybe we just uh, start getting wood. Uh, oh, no, you're slaying the infidel. What we actually want is uh, is wood, please. See, that's barely any closer, so it's not that useful. This will be... Ten villagers will make that better. Yeah, we're really short of wood. Okay. So we have clubmen and rock throwers. And Heracles, who looks pretty advanced compared to the uh, the rest of what we got here. So I might be over preparing our defense or our armies here. Canine scout. Oh. Yeah, okay, let's build a dog and send it out there scouting. Why not? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We haven't found gold. I might need to go uh, easy on the upgrades now that I think about it. Do these troops cost gold? No. Only the... Well, okay, the rock throwers do. We don't have iron either. Or, rather, we don't have a way to replace our iron. Okay, no upgrades until we figure that out. You start exploring. Poppers. got all sorts of magical power, so that's cool. Okay. This is kind of perfect. That's really what we need. Is the village of Troas. Oh. Help me find their dock so that I may seize control of it. Okay, well, they murdered their our dogs, so. Magnificent. They have much knowledge, which we shall learn mm. and use to build a city of our own. All right, so. Now that I know that we're going to be able to get more of that stuff. I am a little concerned about where we go to get food, but... Uh, we 
850 food to get to the Stone Age? Is that a thing we need to do for this? Uh, I don't know. Now that I know that we can replace stuff, let's get going on our upgrades. Can happen. You can also do Firestorm. This is kind of probably where we need our army to be uh, focused. Uh. So I don't know how much we need to beat this village, but uh, we've got a magic hero man that could be useful. You guys are taking a different path, okay? Just, you're just gonna climb up a mountain to get there, huh? Yes, great He's got Battle Cry, which I think makes him a strategist hero. And our priest is dancing around somewhere. What I thought I might do is, uh, part of me wants to just throw it on a save first. How do I do that? I actually have not been using saves at all during the, uh, okay. I don't want to save scum my way t towards too much ease, but I was going to send our uh, Calcus off here to try to flame some of their buildings, you know? And that will probably... Oh. They must have a temple nearby or something? Yeah. Well, that's annoying. Well, sadly, they didn't, uh, they didn't bring their pestilence back with them, and now he's going to be very low on, uh, power for a while. I don't have enough go uh, food. Probably going overboard with this, uh... Might be going overboard with, uh, wanting all these upgrades in this early scenario. Uh, we'll need another source of food, and I don't see where I get one. I mean, there's more goats around, but... There might be, uh... Might be, uh... 
berries or something uh, somewhere far away and, and not under uh, the control of the enemy uh, village there. Well, we may already have enough troops to attack the enemy village, honestly. Oh no, don't you go there. You head into like this kind of corner of the world. See what there is to explore, my dog friend. Found more of everything. Yeah, it's the it's the introductory scenario. I'm sure it's not meant to be super hard. I'm a little annoyed that we've got all these awesome magical powers that our uh, shaman dude can't use because they have a defensive uh, temple. And they're saying, take Calchas to the throne, to, uh, to the Troan dock. They're like, come on, guys. It's not that hard here. And you know what? They're probably right. Okay. Um, I think we're better off ignoring this thing. It's taking forever to kill it. It doesn't do that much damage to us either. And they don't seem to have an army. No, there, there we are. There's an army. Okay, they managed to stay in range of the, uh... They managed to stay in range of the towers during all that, which is kind of annoying. It may just be I'm not supposed to actually take out their, uh... We can destroy the barracks that can't build more troops. We can destroy the temple here. I can do other stuff as well. They have an archery range. They have vast scientific knowledge that's beyond us. Anyway, I suppose I should still be... Uh... You just explore. I, I won't manually lead you. Um... They're still gathering food here. Yeah, they, they don't really have very efficient ways to... Uh, Yes, murdered a villager. Huzzah. Doesn't look like they're really rebuilding here either. Well, 
let's just uh, disease everybody. We're kind of jerks. This is uh, slow going without siege stuff, and I'm starting to suspect I don't actually have to defeat this village, just get to the dock. They're not very good at hitting a moving target, are they? Uh, maybe this is where I just see what happens with that. Now we have a dock. Let us build transports, then set sail for Thessaly. We will know our destination by the goats grazing there. Oh, well. I guess this is worth the effort that we went to, but it is starting to appear that uh Okay, this yeah, there there There's a guy in a tower throwing rocks at my stuff at my uh new harbor, which Death to the heathens. Death to the heathens. I don't want to aggro their uh, army that's there. But I feel like this is going to aggro the army, so why am I doing it? Damn it, JG. Bulma? You could probably do your fiery thing on this building, couldn't you? Oh, the hell with it. Did everyone just attack? This is, a. Uh, not the most stylish victory that anyone's ever achieved in an RTS, but... They had a temple that was preventing me from getting the best possible use out of some of this. Their towers are garbage at this... Their towers are garbage, so... Still don't want them just killing my stuff with impunity. He's dead. My lord. Burn I can't use that on Firestorm on towers? Okay. I guess. Dog is still scouting away. 
You guys are still gathering food. You guys are still doing all this. Oh, we almost got enough food to upgrade. I guess we might as well do that. Although it would happen a lot faster if uh, we had a gathering site that was closer to... Um, buildings always transparent. Building always opaque. So I'm probably way overcomplicating things, but uh, I thought I found a food source that's so going to go build the thing next to. I didn't realize that there's just more food right down here. Okay. We're getting up on 30 minutes and uh, had a very uneventful uh, start to this whole video, so. But we'll increase our power level here. Pericles can kind of like probably take a tower by himself, can't he? Let's let's find out. Well, they killed another one of our dogs. <laughs> Don't have enough wood for a transport raft. Guess I pulled everyone off of wood. So he doesn't have like a regular old attack. Alright, well. We've got plenty of gold. Let's uh let's take a little gold digging break and get some uh, wood so we can actually win this thing. So we've moved into the Stone Age, which gives us Samson. I guess he's a hero. Is Samson a hero, or is he our siege unit who's good at attacking? Like, there's no descriptions of what these units do. Oh, that cost us wood, though. Did it? I'm not sure. Yeah, that cost us a bunch of wood. I thought I'm building him because I thought he might be a hero. I think he's just probably supposed to be good against buildings. Alas, Heracles is lost. <laughs> Without his leadership, his people will perish and be forgotten by history. Yeah, I did kind of have him start attacking that tower and forgot uh, that I was doing it, didn't I? <laughs> what a great way to start the campaign. But we're at the 30-minute mark, so what we're going to do is call it a video. And when we come back next time, I'll be less stupid. I hope. See you then.